Okay, so what I want to do first is unlock that damn arcane missile thing. That arcane missile thing looked looks awesome, and I I just don't have it yet. And I I think uh, I think that would be pretty dope to get. So let's let's try to find that. I'm trying to think if I just look this one up and just say uh, you know what? We've we've played enough full natty bro, man. It's time to farm some noobs. You're not gonna do it full natty bro. Okay, we might have to use some external help here. So I have to kill someone named the Dark Rider, and uh, oh, I have to go to the, I have to get a I have to get a sigil first or something. Okay, it said there. You might want to group with others for the Dark Riders. Ah, oh, full natty bro, man, full natty bro. Unless I can't solo it, then I'm gonna need your help. This area is kind of spooky. Okay, let's see what we can do. It. There, bro. The zone looks hella weird with my gray mount in a gray zone. It's like, did my graphics card break or something? How are you? Doing well. How are you? Safe okay, travel. so I got the sigil. Use. Compel a nearby dark rider to reveal itself. Oh, it's a trinket. Alright, so the first dark rider is like around the cemetery, I think. Let's go check him out. Yo, bro, we got hella lions. There's one in Deadwind Pass. No, it's right there. Go back. Wait, am I trolling? Alright, let's go back. Let's go back. Apparently, I just missed one. If I die, it's switch shots fell. I would have never been down here. Oh! Dude, I'm, I'm out of mana, guys. I can't, I can't sheep him. I can't Nova him. I'm Oom. Okay, I need a new spec. I have to play Arcane. I, dude, dude. Reset. I'm not, oh my God. Okay, he reset, but this bird is gonna kill me. Twitch chat, you guys are so troll. Run. Okay, so I have to tank him. I, I I cannot kite him. Brother. Brother. This mob's resetting in three, two, yes! Easy clump. I'm not dying to PvE mobs, guys. I'm a PvPer. We rise above it, okay? Unbelievable. You're gonna need a group? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. We're fine. Watch this. He's immune to counter spell. It seems fine, right? Are you guys all fine to this? I mean, I'm pretty fine to this. Pretty fine of this if you guys are fine of this. Yeah. Seems like a really easy solo. Why are you guys so afraid? I mean, I'm out of mana now. We should be fine. We should be just fine. We should be just, we should be just fine. We should be fine. We should be fine. Yeah, easiest boss of my life, guys. We're fine. Unbelievable. E, Z, clap, boys. We don't play mages who top heals and DPS. I, wait, I thought this was a mage quest. Maybe they, they reuse the same quest line for like all classes. Okay, so the entire time I'm soloing all these guys, you guys are gonna be like, dude, mages are OP, Zarv. Try playing a warrior. Guys, I could solo this on warrior too. I'm, by the way, I'm playing full frost for this too. It would be way easier if I was arcane, right? Like way easier. Uh, do you have to loot the corpse? I think I did. I got this thing here. Curious relic. Hmm. We got one out of eight. I'm gonna do this full natty. So if I was just playing the game, the next place that I would logically go is probably uh, Duskwood. If I was playing this Full Natty Pro, in my opinion, I would probably go to 
the Raven Hill Cemetery. And that's where we're gonna head off to. Is to Raven Hill Cemetery. Smart? Yeah, I mean, it's just, I've read all the books, guys. I know all the lore, the backstory, and everything, and mathematically, it makes sense that if you're gonna kill one Dark Rider in the Swamp of Sorrow, I mean, the uh, Deadwind Pass, then the next one's gotta be in Duskwood. And then uh, I'll uh, go to probably Swamp of Sorrows after that, so. Yeah, the math checks out, we're good. Nothing sus here. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying today's video. I wanna give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, AG1. If you guys have not heard of AG1, it is the easiest way to get your daily supplementation in. All you do is mix four to eight ounces of water with that AG1 powder in this beautiful AG1 glass. And boom, you're done. Well, I mean, you would drink the entire thing, but yeah, it's pretty easy. In the AG1 uh, drink, guys, you have vitamins and minerals. This is things like vitamin C, right? Vitamin K, things that you might be uh, used to hearing, biotin that you people take in pill form. That's all in AG1. We also, though, have minerals like copper and zinc and magnesium. Once again, things that people might take in pill form, a little bit easier to just drink it down every day. But on top of that, we also have whole food source ingredients like apple, artichoke, right? Uh, spirulina, wheatgrass, probiotics, prebiotics, and adaptogens. Guys, if you wanna learn more about AG1, super easy supplementation, we have a link down below in the description for five free travel packs and a year supply of vitamin D. Now enjoy the rest of today's video. Bro, having a mount is so, so bis. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, compel a nearby Dark Rider to reveal itself. Um, We don't actually know where this guy is. Oh, here we go. Have we found the best build yet? I thought of something on my in my workout this morning that I think is going to be really good. I just haven't shared it with anyone yet. I'm keeping it in my own head. All right, let's go to the Swamp of Sorrows now. I have a gut feeling that we're going to see some... Dark Rider, I'm thinking Northeastern Swamp of Sorrows for some reason. Just my expertise in World of Warcraft paying off here. Yeah, I'm thinking Northeast Swamp of Sorrows. Could I guess where? Um, I'm thinking 6724, the coordinates, precisely. Probably somewhere close to there. Wait, how do you know all of this? Uh, did, <laughs> did you, are you not caught up on the lore? It, yeah, if you're if you're not cut up on the lore, man, it's it's just not gonna make sense. If I were you, I would start at a uh, book one, read through it all, and then come back when you're more well read. Oh, here we go. This is probably it. I'm, my spidey senses are tingling. There's one in Badlands. There's one in Arathi. There's one in Desolus. Ah, we're back, chat. Oh man, I love World of Warcraft. Let's turn this music up a little bit. Can we talk about characters jumping while swimming? What kind of crazy core strength does that even take to full body hop out of water once, let alone repeatedly spamming it? I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I never once thought about that. But you know, you're a hundred percent right. You're a hundred percent right. Alright guys, I was thinking about something really weird. Like really weird this morning. Or uh, I think it was maybe yesterday. Don't make fun of me for this. I'm, I'm I was just like trying to think think this through. Okay, so say you like cut your finger. The skin will regrow back, right? But if you cut like more of your finger, it usually will still grow back. But if you like cut your finger off, the finger won't regrow back. At what point does skin not regrow back? Bones? So bones don't regrow, but skin regrows. What about muscles? Do muscles regrow? I don't know why I was thinking about this. I was like, wait a minute. Why can't we just like regrow? Like if I had my arm chopped off, why can't I just regrow another arm technically? Season of disgust. Discovery. Season of discovery. Season. 
of discovery. <laughs> Bro. Where is the season of discovery, man? I will find this. Bro, what in the F? What in the heck? What in the freaking heck? Season of Discovery! I found him! Bro, imagine trying to find this without Wowhead. Like me. Yeah. No way, right? No way. Okay, now we have four of them. All right, let me think. If I were a game dev, where would I put the next one? Bro, honestly, I would maybe put one in a um in a Rathi. Yeah, I'm gonna go to a Rathi based on the lore, uh, because of the fish, the slippery Dalaran relic. The closest place to Dalaran is Alteric Valley, uh, Alteric Highlands, and Alteric has starts with an A, so, and so does Arathi. Starts with an A, so obviously the next one is probably going to be in Arathi Highlands, um, next to the water, because this is a fish. Remember, uh, if you guys didn't read the lore, um, there's a fish that was swimming in Witherbark Village, and the fish actually grew wings and flew up north. Uh, uh, west of Hammerfall, and that's why Arathi is where I'm gonna head to next and uh, discover the uh, location. No, I haven't looked anything up. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where I would go if I was a game dev. And I think the fish is pointing me in that direction. I could try to kill this thing with uh, the PvP build. Don't know how that's gonna go, but. Yeah, this might suck. <laughs> this might not be this might I might die Oh wow a ro random road came out of nowhere and he's helping me out I would have been fine without this guy Def oh crap I'm still dead um, one sec. You can't CC these things. Not even that cheap shot works. I need more heals. No way this guy dies. No way this guy dies. No way I get this guy killed. Bro, I'm like, I'm dead. I don't know. Head. I don't know what to say. Easiest boss of my life. Yeah, easiest boss of my life. Yo, yo, that's what's up. <coughs> yeah, I can kill that in a PvP build too. Doesn't even matter. GG, easy clump. All right, let's see. Let's see if there's any clues to the next one. All right, we have Whirling. Whirling Dalaran Relic. Hmm, let's see. Whirling Dalaran. Okay, so that is basically going to give me a clue, right? Okay. Whirling Dalaran. Dalaran is right here. Whirling is basically means spinning. So if you spin the Eastern Kingdoms upside down by whirling it, it's in a similar spot as Desolus, kinda. Yeah, let's move to Desolus and just see what's over there. That's kind of what I'm thinking. That's the vibe I'm getting. Yeah, whirling. Dalaran Relic. Yeah, let's go to Desolus. 
any chords in specific in Desolus? Uh, 6826 is probably my best guess off the top of my head. Isn't it whirring, not whirling? Oh, it's whirring. A prolonged soft wish or a buzz of a motor. Yeah, so what I meant to say is in Desolus, there's just a constant whirring sound that I've always heard. And for some reason, it's in this like northern uh, hemisphere of the Desolus Plains. And I want to check out what the whirring is. I'm worried about the whirring. So that's kind of where we're headed next. All right, so if I was a whirring Dalaran relic, I would probably be like, right... Here. <laughs> so predictable. So for I knew it. It is so predictable, man. It is so damn predictable. I kind of have to sneeze, but this Dark Rider is almost dead. Bro, what if I sneeze in his face? That would be so BM. This, this needs went away. We're good. Watching you has made me a better mage. Keep being awesome. I, I thought I had to sneeze, but it turns out we're fine. Uh, yo, Ted, thanks for the tier one. Creepy Dalaran relic. The creepiest zone I know of. Is the Barrens. That's the creepiest zone I know of. Because Horde are creeps. Okay, let's go to the Barrens. That's why. Oh, the Warlock's trying to kill the Dark Rider, too. Do I help him out? On me. On me. Nice! Alright. Here, let's give this guy a portal back to Stormwind. Because the next part of the quest from Heavy Dalar and Relic probably means to go back to the starting mob. Wait, do you not want my portal? Bro! I made this for you, Ronnie. Ronnie! All right, let's fly to Darkshire. And uh, I would assume there's only seven relics. The reason I assume that is because... Um, um, why do I assume that? The first relic I found, the Curious Dalaran relic, has... Uh, Curious has seven letters in it. And because there's seven letters in the first relic that I found, it would point me to the obvious conclusion that most people would draw that there's seven relics to find in total because there's seven letters in Curious. So from there, I'm going to go back to the first guy that gave me the Curious relic and see if uh, he has the next part of the quest for me. Slash way. Oh my gosh. OMG, not even figuring it out yourself? Question mark. Oh my gosh. Come on, Chippy. Come on, Chippy. Hi, I'm new here. Stop. Oh man, I feel bad now. Hi, I am new here. Oh my gosh. Wow. Um, hi. Hello. We can be friend. Fwans? Oh, is this guy trolling me? Yes. Fwans. Thank you. You want to rest in my bag? I see your buff is falling off. Yes! I got you, Chip. Chip Nippy has a friend! <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so happy we played on a role-playing server. Wait a minute. Is Crusader Strike a role-playing server? It is, right? Yeah, we're on, a, we're on an RP realm. Yeah. Makes everything way better. Goodbye, Chippy. Good day to you. 
Oh yeah. Oh, gold. Mm, gold. Yes. Yummy gold bags. Missile barrage. Okay, we got the new missile barrage rune, boys. After two hours of gaming fully natural. Oh my gosh. He says God no and then runs away. Bro, Chippy, the, the the least you could do is let me kill you. Are you kidding me? Feign death. I know you're not dead, Chip. The least you could do is duel me. I'm dead. Oh, I'll just kill this rogue instead. No, respect the 1v1 chip. Chip! They never respect my 1v1s. Cause Horde have no honor. Got no bub. Okay, we're dueling a no bub, Pala. Well met. Well met. I mean, no, Pala's got re repentance at this level. Dude, I almost got one shot, but I one shot him first. <laughs> what the heck just happened? <laughs> what the heck? Divine Storm for 280, Exorcism for 300, Melee Swing for 200, Seal of Command for 600, all within the same second. Like, I, like the missiles are so strong every time it procs. I swear this is not a 20% proc chance. I feel like I'm never getting my missile procs. Every time I get them, it owns. I just feel like it's never procking. Would you be stronger in duels with different talents or are these optimal? So that's what I'm testing right now. I'm, uh, I think... I think we're getting close to potentially an optimal build, but I mean, there's a lot to test. I honestly, I think the best way to duel as a mage right now, unironically, is to just play Arcane Surge and just one shot someone. Duel starts, Arcane Surge, one shot, GG, no re. But that's just so cheesy and so like, I don't know. Like all of these duels would probably be better if I just, if I just win Arcane Surge. Cause you can just one tap. Last duel. Oh yeah, Stranglethorn Veil. Vale. What is that? Missile Barrage Brock Chance. And if I played a warrior, I would just hate the game. <laughs> okay. If you guys want to come to uh, STV with me, hit me up. Wait a minute. Is that six players? Are these guys teaming? Moonkins are the best. I love Moonkins. They're so overpowdered. I love Moonkins. Moonkin Shadow Priest. Best ever. Uh oh. We're all Oom and dead, and it's a whole nother squadron. Yeah, watch out, boys. Watch out. Watch out. From behind. They're trying to hit us from the back. Oh, never mind. They ran. <gasps> Maru! A 
What's this Hydra again, bro? Hydra's group is... Is Hydra's group five priests? What a genius! Yeah, guys, don't mess around with the Moonkins. Just go five priests, man. <laughs> I got one shot from full life with a shadow word death. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I was full life. Oh man. It gets nerfed tomorrow. It only gets nerfed by 30% tomorrow. Meaning, instead of killing me in one hit, that would have taken me to like 30% life. Guys, it's still gonna be too good, I think. I'm gonna type. Yeah, he has five priests. Oh, I should learn from the best. Just do, go, go with five priests next time. If I get extra spikes off, it's gonna kill me, like guaranteed. <laughs> You're right, Zahi, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, are you all right? <laughs> ship it, ship it, boys. <laughs> <laughs> what is the stream snipe, lady? How is 1800 full life, bro? You gotta get some consumes on the go, bro. Get those streamy, but I have 1700 life. Look at his buffs. Yeah, 1750. <laughs> Oh, it's Hydra! He's right here! He's right here! Oh, shit! He's right here! He's right here! Boys, kill his ass! Guys, keep me up, please. Please! Come out of the block, dude. What are you doing on this block? Kill his ass! Kill him! Dude, how do you kill five priests? They're all healing each other, man! Bro, I can't- was living flame on the floor, man. Get out of here. Dude, just oh my gosh! One of one or two of them have prayer amending, and the prayer amending is just like, just just like boom 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 boom. They they're constantly healing each other with vampiric embrace and constantly healing each other with that prayer amending bounce. Can you prayer amending in shadow form? Maybe one of them is disc, huh? Dude, this is Hydra's group again. We can't kill them, dude. Insta dead. Oh my gosh, guys. Why do I have druids in the group? I should have made five. I should have made a five gre a uh, five priest group. Deleted my mage, made a shadow priest. Guys, I think after the shadow priest nerfs, they're gonna be just as good or better. Because their dot is getting buffed. So they're just gonna shadow or death a little less, but when they do, it's still gonna be really strong. And their dot's getting buffed, so they're actually gonna do more damage anyway. Guys, we're screwed. Wouldn't five warriors steamroll five priests? Um, yeah, yeah. Let me know how that works out for you. That might be really good. If I was Blizzard and I was putting in an runes or uh, books for mages to read about I think I would probably put one one sec I'm kind of thinking about yeah if I okay yeah if I was if I was blizzard myself I think I would put a rune by the basilisks because mages use basilisk energy yeah right here I would put it right here yep I knew it I knew, I knew it. Okay, we found him. Cool. Too easy, Blizzard. Hide it, hide it better next time, bro. 
right here. Yep, this is the book. If you guys were here at the start of the stream, I was teasing a build. That's basically the, the build I was teasing, is Frost Mage, Arcane Surge, Arc uh, Missile Barrage. And the goal of the build is you spam a rank one Frost Bolt until you get like Missile Barrages and you can send them off for free mana. And then whenever you feel like it, you have an I win button that just deletes the target into a crit. You have a very high chance to crit because you're running with burnout and shatter. So you have a 70% crit chance on Arcane Surge as Frost, right? And then besides that, you're kind of just spamming rank one Frost Bolt, Living Bomb, and fishing for Missile Proc. So your sustain is good, your burst is best in the game, and your survivability is high. That was basically the build I was teasing this morning. Why do you not go Fingers of Frost? So Fingers of Frost would work for that build, but I think Burnout's just better. The thing about Fingers of Frost that people might not know, actually here, let me just let me just show you guys because I did not know this. Fingers of Frost, to my knowledge, only procs with Frostbite. Frostbite and Fingers of Frost together. Did you see that? They only proc together. Now, I don't know if this is a bug, but they don't proc independently, ever. Once again, I'll show you again. Interesting, yeah, not many people know this. So once again, they'll only, if Fingers of Frost procs, Frostbite also procs. I think it resisted because you saw the animation. I think it, I think it like did it and then broke. Did you see that? I Maybe I'm on Copium. I'll try again. Frostbite and fingers. So the point is, if it is true that they only proc together, which is presumably true, once again, yeah, they pretty much only proc together. If that is true, then Fingers of Frost is kind of a dead talent. And not 100% not dead, but kind of dead. Because if you already have the target frozen, then you can send an Ice Lance into the frozen target. So Burnout is just more value in that sense. Okay, Does, like are we all on the same page here? No, it'll proc without Frostbite if you don't have Frostbite talented. So you could skip Frostbite if you want it, but Frostbite owns because it keeps them still anyway, right? What can I do for you? Light bless you. The alliance. Oh, the dopamine. Oh, the dopamine. Oh, boys. 19 out of 19 rune. Level 40, no mage. We did it. Oh my gosh. So, tomorrow in the raid, we're trying this spell power feat. Arcane pumper. But I'm also going to be healing. Regen. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. All right, guys. That's it. That's it for me today. Cheat cheese. I also bought this ring for tomorrow, so we have 16 more arcane spell damage. That'll be super fun. Cheat cheese. Tomorrow we go back into the Nomergon. And if one thing drops tomorrow, dude, I'm like an arcane mage healer. Right there, baby. Right there. Do you know how insane that is for. Oh. Blizzard one time. Blizzard one time. GG's, follow the stream. I'm out of here. Peace.